Hi everyone and welcome back to my uh, new video. Today is uh, Monday uh, and uh, day second of uh, me moving uh, my paintings and stuff from old studio to a new studio. Um, I am about to pick up my daughter from school, then I'll, then I'll go to pick up my wife. We'll spend maybe some time, probably an hour, and then after that I'm planning to go to the Home Depot to pick up some uh, wood uh, as I need to finish uh, uh, storage racks uh, for my paintings in the new studio that I started on uh, Saturday and uh, after that uh, I will try to make at least uh, two rounds uh, with um, stuff from the old studio. Um, I also have to finish uh, or start actually uh, less than or equal to painting that is uh, for today and tomorrow um, the reason that I have to do one for today is as uh, uh, I took a day off uh, on Sunday just to spend some time with uh, family and catch up on uh, on the household so uh, here I am on Monday afternoon and um, I'm going to do what I have to do and what time will allow me to do. Okay, I just arrived to studio with uh, some materials from uh, Home Depot. I'm going to unload that and uh, see what is going to be my next step for uh, today's work. I decided to bring this uh, table to my new studio. load it. This uh, glass here is uh, with me since I moved to Idaho. Um, I use it as a palette uh, for my uh, paintings. I like it because it's not uh, clear, it's uh, tinted and uh, when I mix the colors um, it gives me that uh, additional brightness uh, and richness uh, to the color. Possibly a true reach of uh, color. So. I really like it and I look forward to put that table uh, together again. first studio was uh, the size of a uh, larger bathroom, I don't know, I would say you could fit maybe two small bathrooms in my uh, uh, studio and uh, it was the first studio I got uh, after my bachelor in fine art in uh, Manchester and uh, I carried on with the studio during my uh, masters in fine art and after that, uh, I expand the studio. But um, what I have right now is probably, maybe not the largest, because uh, the largest studio so far I had in uh, Idaho. Um, but this, this studio here um, is pretty, uh, pretty big. And also the fact that I can actually open gate and uh, have it open and have some privacy is even more important than actually maybe the size of the studio. Um, the uni that I had across uh, the street um, had also a gate like this one here, but I was uh, not really able to open it and uh, feel free to show my private space. Here I can do that. Even if uh, I will have uh, neighbors uh, um, opening the gate, I don't think that, that will bother me or bother them as much as that 
as as much as that would uh, be a problem um, in the space that I am just uh, living. So I'm very excited for this uh, studio space and uh, uh, the only thing that uh, maybe I don't like that much is the fact that I have to move everything and set up this uh, location uh, from the beginning. But I have uh, two more weeks so um, gradually I'm going to um, bring everything and uh, build the racks, build the painting stash station and uh, all kinds of interesting things. This uh, wall here that you see all the way I'm going to use for a uh, painting and the wall that is uh, uh, corresponding to this wall here is also going to be used uh, for, for, for painting. Here I am uh, setting up the uh, rack for uh, storage and for paintings and uh, that's actually for now my main task. Mm, I want to co complete that by, I don't know, I thought that I would do it tonight but I was uh, focusing on some other um, things like bringing, bringing my paints and my palette here as I don't want to be divided uh, between two paintings, especially that all my tools and uh, most of the uh, things that I need um, are here. So um, I want to make sure that uh, my painting station is here as well. So I was not really able to touch uh, this uh, rack uh, today but I still have a little bit of a day left, so I'm going to work on that uh, at least two hours and uh, two hours maybe painting. That would be ideal. I will start from painting and then I will move to the rack with uh, whatever energy is uh, left. So as you can see, uh, I'm actually recording a time-lapse of um, sunset and uh, I will incorporate that in this uh, video. Today I also brought uh, uh, first uh, paintings, uh, first my paintings to the studio. I'm going to show you one second. Okay, so I have my paintings here. Ta -da! This is a uh, first painting in a new studio. Very happy, very happy painting. Can you see? And also, I brought uh, recent paintings from less than or equal to project. And uh, this one got sold today. Somebody from New York bought this uh, painting. Um, I'm going to pack it, um, not tonight, tomorrow. So the person who bought it, if you are listening, I'm going to pack this painting for you tomorrow. It's a really nice painting, I actually like it. It was a good selection, good taste. And uh, I have some more small... Those are paintings, you can, we can call them sketches as well. Painting sketches. Um, I'll post a link to this uh, project in the description if you are interested to go and have a look. So my studio. Um, this is, uh, I will call it uh, moving part two, even if I haven't moved much today. But I did something, I actually moved this. This is a painting palette. It doesn't look much like a palette yet, but it will soon. And uh, I moved the uh, first painting here. I wanted to have something in the... <coughs> Excuse me. I wanted to have something in the office um something that i created so here it is okay thank you so much and i'll see you tomorrow bye bye voila 